We're going a long way from here. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Yes. Come on, darling. Oh. Oh. Oh, we don't want to be late. Because we've got to say bye-bye to Uncle Chris, haven't we? I did was disagree with you about some film. You deliberately made me look stupid. I didn't. I, I can't even believe that we're arguing about this. It's not just about the film. Then what's it about? This is about moving in together, isn't it? <laughs> Why would I want to? All you do is treat me like an idiot. I was just trying to join in the conversation. Do you know what I think? Yeah, I do. You've been giving me the benefit of your wisdom all evening. I think that you're just trying to pick an argument as an excuse to not talk about this. Oh, don't be so pathetic. I'm sick of you always digging at me. I'm not. Look, look, this is silly. Can, can we just forget it and go to bed? No. If I've done something wrong, Graham, I'm sorry. It, it, it didn't mean anything. Well, it did to me. You're always in my face. I can't stand it. Oh, come on, make up your mind. I thought you were happy. I don't like being treated like a fool. Not by you, not by anyone. Graham! Hello, Kim. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. A whiskey? Or would you prefer a G&T? I haven't got time for this, Chris. What do you want? Relax. The jury won't return a guilty verdict for several hours yet. I know you've got my money, so stop playing games. This isn't a game, I can assure you. No, you've got plenty of time. Unless there's somewhere else you've got to be. That is what you're planning to do, isn't it? Run away? I want my money, Chris. You shouldn't have danced on my father's grave. You buried him. Now I'm going to bury you. I don't think so. I'm not going to let you stop me. What are you going to do? Kill me? Go on. Come on, you're smarter than that, Kim. You can't get rid of me. It doesn't make sense. Oh, it does to me. If you want to get out of here, you need that money. But with the time you've got, you'll never find it. You need me, Kim. Must be so frustrating you were this close to getting away with it. You know, I watched you when you were here in my father's house. When you brought Glover in to sleep under his roof. Jealous, were you? And then when you moved in with Steve, started to play happy families. I kept watching you. You see, I knew it would have to happen again sometime. Your lies. Your little games. You got away with murder. Not this time, though. What do you want? I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. You must want something. I mean, why am I here, Chris? What do you really want? Actually, there is one thing. Let's say it's a, an act of redemption for both of us. Something to salvage from all the pain you've caused. Just tell me what you want. I want James. Oh, 
I'll have a lager, please. Cheers. You can't do this to me! You haven't got time to argue. You give me James, I won't stop you leaving. I'll give you the money, I'll even help you pack. I can't! Look, if you go to prison, they'll take him away from you anyway. Chris, I'm begging you. I'll give you anything else you want. I want James! But you can't... You're not in a position to bargain, Kim. It is up to you, your choice. You're just using James to get at me! No, I'm doing it because I care about him. He's my brother. He's my son! After what you've done, you're not fit to be his mother. You made the rest of my family's life a misery. I'm not going to let you do the same to him. I love him! Like you love my father! James is the only thing left of his, the one thing that you didn't ruin. I'm not going to leave him with you. You killed his father. Frank died of a heart attack! No, I don't believe you. Is that truth? The truth is you'd say anything to save your neck. Now be a good girl and go and fetch my brother! No! Then you're going to jail. Here. Thanks. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Oh, don't worry about it. At least it's more peaceful down here. <laughs> I'm Nikki, by the way. I'm Paul. Nice to meet you, Paul. What do you think will happen if you take James with you? He'll grow up wanting to know about his father. And then what? You'll find out the truth, and he'll end up hating you. You're trying to buy him, the same way Frank bought you and Zoe. My father loved us. I'd do anything for James. Frank wouldn't. Oh, he cared about his house and his money, but he didn't give a damn about you. There was only one person he ever loved. Me. He hated you. Oh, believe me, Chris. Frank loved me to death. But you couldn't stand it, could you? Feeling that jealous? It wasn't jealousy. You lost somebody you loved, and now you think it's my turn. The trouble is, you don't really want James. Believe me, if it saves him from you, I do. It saves him or you. You lost somebody you loved, but it wasn't Frank, was it? It was me. No. Frank's gone now. There's nothing to stop you. What's the matter, Chris? It's what you've always dreamed about. No. Ever since you met me. It's always been me. I hate you. It's not hate. This is what it's all been about. You and me. Please. It's what you want. It's what we both want. <laughs> One lie too many, Kim. <laughs> I like having a laugh, tequila slammers, and my own independence. Exactly. So what about you? I'm from Manchester. Uh -huh. Job? Computer programmer. Mm -hmm. I work in Leeds. I've got perfect eyesight, all my own teeth, and I do like my independence. I guess that's why I'm here. It's a statement of your determination to need a single life, eh? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. It's just... I'm having a few problems mm -hmm. with my boss. He gets at you too? She. Oh. You're being sexually around. <laughs> Probably you could say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. She never leaves me alone. Every minute of the day, she's on my back, telling me what to do. 
Well, if it's that bad, then why stay? What? Life's too short. You've no ties. No kids to think of. No. Well, then it's easy. Just walk away. Did you really think I'd believe you? Chris. You want your money? Here. It's all you're worth. Keep the change. I used to wonder what went on in your head. If you ever thought about what you'd done, if you ever felt ashamed, or if you'd managed to bury every last scrap of decency in you. Oh, no, I know. I pity you. Do you think I wanted it to be like this? I did what I had to because I didn't have any choice. We all have choices. You wouldn't understand. You've always had money. When I came here, I had nothing. You talk about choice, Chris, but when you haven't got any money, there aren't any choices. So you think pleading poverty, it justifies what you did to us? Come on, Chris. You loved it. All of you. Think just how far I'd go. You spent your whole life in the sidelines watching me, just wishing it was you. I wasn't envious. You could have had anything you wanted. All I wanted was a house, a husband, and a child. A normal life just like everybody else. But I couldn't. None of you would let me. Not David. Not Frank. Not even Steve. You know, he was the one who came to me with the idea for the theft. I said I didn't want to, but it was no use. He didn't think of me as a wife. I was just an accomplice. He loved you. They all did. They didn't love me. They loved what they thought I was. Oh, we all knew exactly what you were. No, you didn't. You'd all made your minds up. I couldn't change. Cos you wouldn't let me. But I couldn't get out. It just went on and on. I thought if I left, James and I, we could forget the past, start again. James deserves another chance, even if I don't. And now it's too late. It's never going to end. I can't stand it. I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I don't really know anybody here. I only moved up here a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm going on. No, honestly. I think they want us to go. <laughs> I, yeah. I'd better let you find your friends. They left ages ago. Oh, sorry. Why? I was really enjoying myself. Um, look, would you mind walking me to the taxi around, Cody? It's this time of night, I am. But if you have to get back, that's fine. No, I, I don't have to. Great. That was quite a performance. You don't stop, do you? You almost had me fooled. Almost. You think I... Don't you understand? It's over, Chris. You win. Do you really expect me to feel sorry for you? No. Because you're not capable of feeling anything, except hate. For you. I guess we have to accept we're just not compatible. You say potato, and I say potato. You are pathetic. You see, it's those little things that irritate me. Like running Cathy down, killing my father. Call me picky, but they get in the way. You know, I pity you. No, it's not pity. You'd even destroy your own brother. Truth is, you've got nothing in your life that's worth having. Except my freedom. Speaking of which, it's rather late. Don't let me keep you. After all, it is your big day in court. You'll need your beauty sleep. You're a fool, Chris. If you could have just let go of the past, you could have had anything. Maybe even me. You think I'd ever believe that? No, I don't. 
because you'd have to think and feel like a normal person, and you don't. Not anymore. Goodbye, Kim. I guess I should thank you for making me choose. Don't worry. I'm sure James will appreciate having a martyr in the family. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he will. Thanks for tonight. I really enjoyed myself. No. <laughs> I thought... I can't. I, I can't do this. Is something in the matter? Oh. Don't touch me. <laughs> all I did was kiss you. I mean, that's fairly normal. You're all the same. It's <sighs> disgusting. I don't even know you. And I tell you what, you're not going to get to know me either. Taxi! Oh, don't walk away from me. Get off me. Oh. Just get me out of here. Nikki, I'm sorry. Kill. Where's the money? The money. Where is it? I... Oh. in the mood for practical jokes. I want the key. <sighs> Where is the key? <sighs> Where is it? Do you want me to leave you there? Don't you think I would? Or shall I tell you a secret? You were right all along about Frank. I was there when he died. And I left him, too. It was a heart attack. I didn't have to do a thing. See, that's the one good point about being married to an alcoholic. I don't fight back. No. I just left him to it. Sad, really. Poor old Frankie died of fright. Right in front of me. Ah. Right where you are now. Please help me. The key. Whiskey. How appropriate. <laughs> Just like your father. He thought the key to life was in the bottom of a bottle. Cool. Help me. <laughs> you know, you really shouldn't leave cash lying around the house. Nearly forgot. Please. You know, I'll miss you. It's been fun. I'll tell you what, there is one thing I can do for you that I couldn't do for Frank. Here. This one's on me. <coughs> Bye, Chris. There's been a change of plan. Can you pick me up? Location V? Front of home farm. Thanks. Oh, I think you might have had a bit too much to drink last night. Look, Rachel, I I'm sorry about last night. So am I. I didn't mean what I said. It, it was just I, I was tired and work's getting to me. So, am I forgiven? Yeah. L look, this isn't the time or the place. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Look, I I've been thinking. Me too, and I think we should slow things down a bit. Why? Well, you were right. I've been up all night thinking about you. It was just a silly argument. No, I was out of order. 
I'll make it up to you, I promise. You don't have to. I, I think we should stop acting like idiots and, and just admit the fact that we should be together. Why wait any longer? But... I, I could move in tomorrow. No, today. But there's no rush. I love you, Rachel. No, Kim Tate. Gorgeous. What are you waking in, Belch? It's only just gone off. Oh, no. I've been up half the night singing Beatles back catalogue. I got to Sergeant Pepper before she nodded off. Oh, Zach. Hey, what's that for? No reason. Wow, how big? Flipping heck. I don't believe it! <laughs> oh, <is> she... <laughs> Tease up! Where are you, Nigel? Don't get this fixed, we could lose half the flock. Just think, I could be in the warm with a nice hot cup of tea in the daily paper. Uh, instead of out here with me, eh? <laughs> the things you do for love. <laughs> 